Yes. So this is our chapter's name. Was is to do in their pause. Now I would like to uh, like you have. It has been a um, just a minute. Okay. Now it has been days that you have studied German. So I would like you to. Uh, I would like to give you a small briefing about the chapter. Then first. Uh, then we will do is a Wieder Holo. What is Wieder Holo? I hope you all know. Wieder Holo means revision. of what we learned in class 6 what did we learn we have learned a lot of verbs i am assuming that you all remember all the verbs sein haben mussten mögen hope you remember that if not after the class kindly revise them so that uh, it is easier for us to learn the further things now i'll start with articles nominative what are nominative articles the subjective ones nominative subjective articles bestimmt so they were their masculine the das and the for plural nominative articles were their the das and the for plural they changed to they changed to ein in unbestimmt when we change bestimmt article to unbestimmt we say der changes to ein die changes to einer das changes to ein and there is no unbestimmt article for die plural there is no unbestimmt article because for die the plural die because we never use a or an when we uh, are talking about plural things i never uh, we will never use this sentence i want a pens i will say i want a pen i want a pens is a wrong sentence i want pens so there is no unbestimmt article for d i hope you all remember that now we have done is no accusative accusative bestimmt article accusative bestimmt uh, bestimmt articles were the it means the and unbestimmt means a or an a or an unbestimmt are the ones that are a or an and bestimmt are the ones for the so there becomes den in accusative there becomes den in accusative the remains the same das remains the same and d plural remains the same only this masculine article changes this is nominative there it becomes den in accusative so when i change there into a uh, den in the accusative case i will add en to the bestimmt article this ein comes from nominative and what i do is take this en and put it after ein so it becomes accusative now we have already learned these things i'm just doing this for a revision next d remain same so this einer will also remain same das remain the same so das here also becomes ein and i told you there will be no unbestimmt article for plural there will be no unbestimmt article for plural so what is which verb is nominative sein this verb we have learned in 6 standard nominative verb was sein accusative verb was haben or any other verb any other verb but this sein is always nominative we learnt mussten we learnt mögen so all those verbs were accusative so i hope you all have understood you all remember all these things now i'll give you a small question 
relating to the same ergenzo put ein eine einen so what will be the answer here ich habe ich habe das fed das fed fed is a horse so horse was das fed so it will take ein fed it will take ein fed ich habe ein fed ich habe ein fed this is the answer next why ein because das fed and is this ein is accusative this ein is accusative because ish here is nominative this ish is nominative this is the subject haben is accusative verb ein fed is the the horse this horse is the uh, object here so this is nominative and this is accusative er hat er hat ein or what der hund hund is der hund haben we have here er is nominative so this will be einen er hat einen hund er hat einen hund why einen because hund is masculine der hund so der changes to den and den becomes einen because accusative because haben verb is accusative here next question is my nurse schwester it should be my nurse schwester my nurse schwester hat dash ku ku article is d ku so it will become eine ku it will become eine ku by eine because d ku and it is accusative but it doesn't matter because ein uh, d remains same in nominative and accusative both so d becomes eine so here also d will remain the same eine next is their opa von markus dash hat ein kanenschen why have i used here kanenschen ein kanenschen ein that is why because ein i have used here because kanenschen is das kanenschen kanenschen is das kanenschen das remains same in both the cases nominative or accusative it will be ein next is das is dash hamster hamster is der hamster der hamster is masculine okay so what is this sentence is this nominative or accusative we will see from the verb here the ist ist is sein so sein is nominative der becomes ein so that is why we will use here ein hamster not einen why not einen because it is not accusative because this sentence is not accusative why it is not accusative because ist is there and ist is always nominative so i hope you all remember all these things now sein is important you have to revise sein haben mürsten mögen and you have also learned the word trinken trinken means to drink so now we move on to our chapter so now we move on to our chapter what are we going to learn in this chapter about the things that we eat about the things that we drink so the main verb here there are three words three verbs that we relate to our eating and drinking what do we eat so eat is a verb drink is a verb and sometimes i take also i'll take a cup of coffee so the other verb will be take so this is the verb here essen essen means to eat essen means to eat and nehmen means to take i'll take a cup of coffee you sometimes use this word as well with the things that you eat or that you want to drink so nehmen means to take 
SN means to eat. Both these verbs will be, uh, they, these verbs are um, irregular verbs. What we done in, what we have done in class six were irregular verbs, were regular verbs. But SN and Naaman, these verbs are new and these verbs are irregular. What do you mean by irregular? That do and RZS, they are different. These words are different. So ish, we'll start conjugating our verb ish, esser. This is same. What we do is we remove en from here. We take this, this word, we put it here and we put the ending as, what we did is we remove this en, we take, took this word s, e double s and the ending for ish is always ish esser, e. Now, I told you this is an irregular verb. This will change here. Do, do, ist. Do, ist. Z, Z is always the same word. Z, essen. Z, essen. Now for RZS, do and RZS are different in irregular verbs. So this will also be is, L is, Z is, but see this uh, pronunciation for this is and this is is same. But the difference is there is single S for is and this with double S means eats, he eats. She eats, it eats. So this means er is, er is apple, er eats apple. Apple is apple. Now we are, we are essen. We are essen. We are essen. We eat. We are est. Ear is always taken from here. We uh, use E double S, E double S and T. E double S and we put the end of T. Next, this Z, this Z is also SN. Z, SN. And uh, this Z means they. So it will be plural Z. And this plural also takes S in. I hope this is clear to you. And this word S in is, it is here. The S in. Okay, fine. Uh, just look here. Z S in. R Z S is. This R Z S takes is and Z. Essen. Now we move on to our next verb that is Naaman. Naaman means to take. Naaman means to take. So Naaman is, uh, is also an irregular verb. It will be ish, remove en, n e h m, and what is the ending for ish? Ish namer. Do, since it is a reg uh, irregular verb, do, it will be changed here, do nimst, do nimst, z, naman, z, naman, z, naman, rzs, nimst, sorry, nimt, this do and this rzs. So only the endings are different, but this word nim here and nim here, it is same, just the endings are different. ST and T, nimmed. Now the next is weir, weir, naman. Weir, naman. Ear, named. Naman, we took name from here, name. And we put a T in the end because of the endome, because ER takes T. E, 
Naaman. And this Z also takes Naaman. So Ish Naaman, do nimst, Z Naaman. Z, this Z is for A and do means to, ya tum. Erzies, he, she, it, nimt. He takes, she takes, S, it takes. And weird naman, we take, ear named, you all take, plural do, and z naman up sub, and this z is used for they, they take. I hope these verbs are clear to you. I hope everyone has understood these verbs. Uh, if uh, you can take a uh, picture of this page, this is very important for the chapter. If I say I eat, I will use ish esa. Ish esa. Uh, we say I eat, uh, I'll say I eat apple. Ish esa apple. Ish, ish esa apple. So when I say I eat, I is the subject in this sentence. I is the subject in this sentence. What is the subject? Nominative. So this is nominative. So another thing that will come after this, whatever I eat, it is accusative. Ish is nominative. The other thing that I'm talking about that I eat is accusative. So it will be uh, changed into accusative relating to their uh, articles. So now I'll open the book. Just a minute. I'll open the book. Uh, I hope everyone has the PDF with them. Uh, yeah. So this is our chapter. Was is do in der Pause? Okay, so they, uh, we'll uh, go to this, we'll go to our next page. See here, on the second page, you have a table here. It shows you different things that you eat or drink. So the, the blue ones are there. Red ones are D, green ones are for Das, and the orange ones are for D plural. Blue one is for Dare, or uh, red one is for D, green one is for Das, and this orange ones are for D plural. So Dare Kuchen, Dare Kuchen, the cake. Kuchen, cake. Der Schokoriegel, a bar of chocolate. Der Schokoriegel, a bar of chocolate. Next is Der Yogurt. Der Yogurt, dahi, curd. Next is Der Apfel. Der Apfel, apple. Der Apfel. If I say the sentence now, I'll say ish esse einen Apfel. Ish esse einen Apfel. Why einen? Because it is der Apfel. Ish is the uh, nominative subject and the other one, Apple, becomes accusative because I we have in the sentence, so it is no, uh, no nominative. The other subject automatically becomes accusative. Ish esse einen Apfel. Zaft. Zaft means juice. Dear Zaft. Dear Zaft. So dear Zaft. Zaft is juice. Do I drink, uh, do I eat juice or drink juice? We have done trinken. So you all uh, already know the conjugation of trinken. Ish trinke einen Zaft. I drink a juice. In English we don't usually use a but in German, we will. Ich trinke einen, Ju einen Saft. Next, Banana. Banana. 
So banana is bananas and D banana. So ish esa aina banana. Ish esa aina banana. Next is birna. Birna means pears. Pear. So birna is a pear. Ish esa aina birna. Ish esa aina birna. Next is cola, D cola. We have already done this word in sixth standard. Ish trinka aina cola. Do I drink a cola or do I eat a cola? I drink a cola. Ish trinka aina cola. Tafel chocolade. So tafel chocolade is a big chocolate. Big, big chocolate. So big bar of chocolate. This one is like a five star, but this one is uh, like a dairy milk. Tafel chocolade. So ish trinka aina tafel chocolade? No. Ish essa aina tafel chocolade. Ish essa aina tafel chocolade. Le next is limonade. Lemonade. Limonade. Lemonade. So what is lemonade? So, so sorry. So do uh, we drink lemonade? Is trinka aina limonade? Is trinka aina limonade? Next one, we move on to das to, uh, das words. So das kesa brot. Kesa brot is cheese bread. Cheese kesa is cheese and brot is bread. So das kesa brot. Ish esa einen Käsebrot. Ein Käsebrot. Ish esa ein Käsebrot. Das Käsebrot. Ish esa ein Käsebrot. Next is Schinkenbrot. Schinken is chicken. Schinken is chicken. So chicken brot. Bread. Ish esa ein Schinkenbrot. Ish esa ein Schinkenbrot. Next is ice. Ice is ice cream. Ish esse ein ice. Ish esse ein ice. The next one is mineral wasser. Ish trinker ein mineral wasser. We generally don't use uh, ein with the word, but uh, since we have here the word wasser, it is das wasser. Ish trinker mineral wasser. You can also write is trinker ein mineral wasser. It both will be correct. Next is stück torte. Stück torte is a pastry. Stück torte is a pastry. Stück means a piece and torte means cake. A piece of cake is a pastry. Piece of cake is a pastry. So stück torte is pastry. Ish esse ein stück torte. Is ish esse Ein Stück Torte. Next is D plural D chips. Do I say I eat a chip? No, I eat chips. Ish esse chips. I will never say ish esse I ish esse ein chip. No, ish esse chips. The other one here is noodle. Noodle are noodles. Do I say I eat a noodle? No, we say we are essen noodle. Ish esse noodle. Or if I say eh, he eats noodle, I will say noodles. He, I, uh, I will say er ist noodle. Er ist noodle. Er, uh, no, just a minute. This er means he is eats noodle. He eats noodles. Next is nusa. Nusa means nuts. Nusa here means nuts. Ish esse nusa. Ish esse nusa. Next is keksa. Keksa means cookies. So I eat cookies. Ish esse keksa. We eat cookies. We are essen keksa. You eat cookies, do ist cook, uh, keksa. Do ist 
Kexel. Next is he eats cookies. Er is Kexel. So now we have learned these words here. We move on to our next slide. That is this question here. So our question, the first question that we will be learning here uh, is, was is to do in their pausa? What do you eat in your break? What do you eat in your break? You can take help from these words here and you'll write the answer. This is the follow-up question here. This is the follow-up question. Was is do in their pausa? What do you eat in your break? Ish esse ein Brot in der Pause. The answer will be, you can write anything that you eat in your break. I am telling about my break. Ish esse ein Brot in der Pause. I eat a bread in the break. Was trinks to do in der Pause? What do you drink in your break? Ish trinke einen Saft in der Pause. Ish trinke Einen Saft in der Pause. Ich trinke einen Saft in der Pause. I drink a juice in the break. So these two questions you will be doing in your follow-up. Third question for the follow-up is you have to put the uh, accusative. Ein, einen oder eine. Okay? So er ist dash apfel. Er apfel article. Der apfel. Dear Apfel, he eats an apple. Trinkt er, trinkt er dash cola gern. Trinkt, drink. So does he like to drink a cola? Gern means like. So cola, the cola, eine cola. Trinkt er eine cola gern. I have helped you with these both sentences. Rest you will do yourself. Wir essen dash kekse. Wir Kexa is plural, so you uh, or you can also put dash in the sentences. Myostes do dash took daughter, Ishmag dash new sir essen. I hope these sentences are clear to you. And this question number four, kindly take a screenshot of the um, screen. Question number four is email Shriven. This is a revision for you. Email Shriven, this is a revision for you. I have put these blanks. You have to fill these blanks using the verbs, using the articles or uh, possessive articles as well. Th those are mine or thine. Dash Ben, what do you put before uh, write, when you write an email? What do you before, uh, put before the word? Dear Ben. So how do you write dear? You have to write it yourself. Ish dash Stefan. Verb will come here. Ish dash um, elf yara art. I hope this sentence is these and you remember these sentences. Das dash meine familia. Das ist mein Vater. Dash heißt Peter. Das dash meine Mutter. Sie dash heißt Renata. Das ist dash Hund. Bruso. Er dash zwei yara alt. Das Dash meine Oma und Opa, full stop, dash they. So what is the word for they? It is a pronoun, you have to put a pronoun here. What is they? It is sie. Sie sind immer lustig, I have helped you with one. Sie haben dash Hunde. Hunde, Hunde is plural, take care of that. Revise your uh, uh, six syllabus, put all these things. And kindly do it on a paper so that you can show me after this is over. Now, if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the chat box. And also parents are requested to kindly give your feedback on this uh, email or in the chat box. Kindly give your feedback for the class in the chat box or in this email. This is the school ID. Students, do you have any doubt? Do you have any doubt? 
Don't answer, Himakshi, here. No, ma'am. Full of, full of doubts. Who is this PC? Um, Shreyas. Shreyas, you are full of doubts? Bhavya, yes, ma'am. Bhavya, do you have any doubt? Just ask that. Nint means to take, Arnav. Kavya, ma'am, how it was do is in the conjugation. Do is, because this is an irregular verb, Kavya, it will be this one only. It is the rule here. Do is is rule. So it will be do is and z is. I double st, not ist. Ist will be is and I double st will be to eat. So take care of that. Any other doubt you're having? Ma'am, what does the third one in PDF? What the third? Ma'am, what is torta? Torta is a cake, Chaitanya. PDF me third one. Okay, third slide. Third slide or you're asking about what? Chow. Okay, Arnav, chow, you are already saying bye. How do we know accusative? Lakshay Khatri, how do we know accusative? If we have ish, z, if we have any pronoun, if we have any subject in this uh, sentence, the subject is always nominative. The other thing is always accusative. Just trim, uh, take care of this thing. Okay. Uh, what is Kohen? I don't know. What is Kohen Parth Bansal? What will be ear of SN? IHR for SN is E double S T. Ma'am, name. What name, Bhavya? Students also ask your parents uh, to give your views on the I e uh, email of school. Also, if you can write, how do you find this class? Chicken bread, shinken brot. Uh, Himakshi, it is shinken brot. What is yogurt? Yogurt is curd. Chaitanya, don't do this. What is cake in German? Cake is uh, uh, torta. Cake is torta. T O R T E. Sorry, ma'am. It's okay, Chaitanya. I don't want this again. Any other doubts? Any other doubts? If you want, you can take this screenshot of the uh, follow up here. I've opened this page. Kindly take a screenshot. Any other doubt? Ku hen parth, I don't know what you are writing. Parth, I don't know what you are writing. Ku hen, I don't know what is ku hen. Any other doubts? What is kakan? Arnav, kakan is nothing. Meaning of zaft. Zaft means juice. Okay, so now I'm done with the meeting. I hope everyone has enjoyed this class.